All right, so welcome back to Off the Beaten Rack. This week, we're going to be talking about Black Masks, Space Riders. This series is totally off the wall, man. I cannot say enough good things about Alexis Zurich, the artist on this series. Just phenomenal stuff. There's two volumes out right now. This is the local comic shop day only hardcover from a few years back. This is the volume one trade paperback. And then I got two signed copies of the newest series, Galaxy Brutality in trade paperback form. We'll pop this open and just take a look. Like uh, Alexis's stuff is like super duper. Uh, oh yeah, it's a sign with a dope f like skull on the inside. Alexis is basically everything to me that heavy metal should be, but isn't. Like this series looks, you see these covers and you see the texturing and the colors and like normally the in, the covers don't match the interiors and like I opened this up and I remember I was like oh my god this looks as good if not better on the inside than the covers like I couldn't believe it it's immaculate like I, I even love the paper stock they chose it's like glossy paper but they put like low gloss sheen on it. So it feels more like the Baxter paper from back in the day almost. Dude, it's cool. Just the coloring on this is absolutely stellar. I love it. I love it, man. Uh, like, look at that. That's just fucking crazy. That's crazy. Um, like I said, there's two volumes of this out right now. Galaxy Brutality was volume two. Man, I just... This book is so stellar. It's awesome. If you're looking for like a cerebral book or like a heavy read, this isn't quite for you, I don't think. But if you're looking for something fun, if you're looking for something like good action, if you're looking for something like what like heavy, I don't know, like heavy metal like used to have some really cool stuff in it, but it usually just falls flat. And like if you're looking for something that's like what heavy metal should have been or should be, like this book is for you. This is this is your Huckleberry. Like this is so tripped out. It's so crazy. It's so cool. I don't really want to get into the story because it's pretty straightforward and like this is not gonna be a super duper long read, but it's a good read. It's well written. It's really straightforward and I dig the hell out of some of the ideas they put forward in this story. Like this and uh, a tomahawk are what got me back into reading comic books after 10 years. I hadn't bought a comic book in 10 years. I saw the interiors on this and I was like, ooh, I saw the interiors on a tomahawk and I was like, done, I'm back. Looks like I just start buying comics. And man, I'm glad I did. This series is just so much fun. Like I said, it's nothing like super heavy, but Alexis is like great artist. This is like, this encapsulates how I remember things looking from my childhood even more than they actually look. This book is so freaking good. And like it doesn't play on the nostalgia trip at all. It takes that to the whole next level. He's just doing his own thing. And like if there's one man on the planet who's more obsessed with skulls than I am, it be Alexis Zero. <laughs> And I apologize if I'm and I'm butchering your name. I apologize. I'm really sorry, man. Like, it's just... I don't know how to say her name, but I love this stuff. Because, like, you don't read these comics, like, legit. Like, you, like, you experience space writers, man. And, like, that is not something that I say often about books. They... This is super cool. I mean, just look at that shit, man. Like, what? What? That's so cool. That's so rad, dude. That's so rad. Like, they paid you to do this shit. Like, who put this out? Yes, Black Mask. F***ing right, brother. I remember I was like, 
I buy like a bunch of black mask, anything they put out. I'm always like, I greedy snatch it. I'm like, yeah, give me that issue one or two or whatever. Let me check that out just in case I just so I don't miss anything like this. And I always throw them some scratch. Cause like, even if I don't like the book, like, Hey man, you know, thanks for letting somebody else hopefully do what they wanted to do. Cause this is like, not you would never see anybody like this get a launch over at Marvel or anything like that. These this is their vision to me. Like there is no compromise. There's no like stock gate. You know what I mean? Like these guys are just like this. This is what's gonna happen, and here it is, bam. Like it's dedicated to Kirby, and like this is everything that that Jack Kirby's art ever could have evolved into, taken by the new generation to the next level with so much love because like this doesn't look like it's aping Kirby at all like he's just doing something different with the with those lines that Kirby provided and like I cannot say enough kind or good things about this book or about Alexis man like he's a super cool guy like he said this is signed like I, I keep up I, I like Instagram stalk him so that like I can buy stuff off of his page because usually Unfortunately, because it is from Black Mask, like, I don't think Alexis gets, like, a shit ton of copies for free, like some other guys do. So, his site is unfortunately usually sold out, at least trade paperbacks. I will not stick a link to Amazon in the description below. Instead, what I'll do is, I'm going to tell you, first of all, if you've got a local shop, go to your local comic shop and have them order this for you. Don't just order shit offline. I bought this directly from Alexis. I like paying artists directly when I can, and I recommend that, and I will, if, he, if he's got any of these available, a web store link in the description below. But I will not stick an Amazon link in there. I will instead stick a Black Mask link in there. So if you can't get it from your local shop or um, they don't uh, special order stuff or whatever, or you don't have a local comic shop, because that's getting to be more and more on common unfortunately if you don't have a local comic shop i'll stick you a black mask link down there but make sure you pick it up directly from these guys this is smaller press stuff they um they need your money more than anybody else out there you know marvel and stuff and the more money they get the more of this stuff that they'll be able to do this is really high caliber really interesting so make sure you go out and check out space riders volumes one and two both available now one shot should be out so just keep an eye out for that if you do pick this up make sure you get in the comments section below let me know what you thought of it like I, this isn't for everybody it's not a cerebral deep read or anything like it's just cool and fun and neat and awesome and weird as hell so let me know what you thought of it like let me know why you loved it let me know why you hated it i'm curious Thanks so much for sticking with me, everybody. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button to keep up with all of that crazy cool content. Support your local shops. And as always, guys, I know I always say it, but hey, it's why I've got this channel. It's what we're doing now. So keep reading comics.